This is a mini tutorial video um, about parse JSON, which is an action in Flow. Now, this was provoked by one of the people who commented. And of course, I'm happy to do things like that. This is going to be a quick start because I don't want to go too deep, but I will put links to the documentation directly in the description of this video so that you could learn more about parsing JSON. Okay. Simply the word parse should be taken literally. It really means the word parse means to break apart in some specific fashion, right? Some of you that have uploaded files, maybe opened from Excel, a CSV or a comma delimited file. Sometimes Excel will prompt you, how should I parse this? And that's all it means. How do I take this big blob of information and parse it in some logical way that you can use, right? So what I've done to kind of get started here is I've opened up a, a new flow that I called Get Joke. And it's because I'm using an API called the Joke API. And this comes from Racket, rapidapi.com. They have a lot of great APIs. Some are free, some require payment. And this one is completely free. Um, basically, um, they tell you exactly what you need. And here's what I want you to look for. Look for the method, all right? Because this is the method that you have to put here. So like, what's the method? And then the next thing it tells you is the URI, and that's this right here, which is what is used to make the request. All right. Now notice that this one has at the end the category name parameter, and you need to replace that with what the category is. They're only allowing in this particular API, they're allowing four categories, programming, miscellaneous, dark, and any. And so you can hard code this to one of those, or you can replace it with a dynamic tag as I did. And I'll show you that in a minute. So this one goes in the URI spot right here. And the only big difference I did was in the button, so I plan to use this on the mobile device. If you wanna laugh, you press the button on your phone and you ask for a joke and it gives you one. Sometimes that's good for the course of a day. So I've actually configured four choices which match the four choices that they allow. And this is a required field. And so once that's um, done, now I can use that as a dynamic tag for the end of that URI. So that it'll give me the category of joke that I asked for. And then the last two things is the headers. And so there's two headers, there's host and there's key, and they give you those, okay? And then you can just plug them in exactly as they're over there. So I just basically copied and pasted. And then I wanted to send an email notification with the joke in it. So you'll notice that when you do this type of thing, you get either body or status code. So I chose body because status code sounds wrong. Um, but here's what's important. No matter what action that you had before this one, right? In some cases, you'll get more or less out of that output than you want, right? And whenever you get less than what you want, right? And I specifically want the joke. So I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to find out together what the body will show me. Um, Sometimes you have to parse the JSON to get more options in your dynamic content. And that's basically why I parse JSON personally. I don't know if somebody else could come up with something more interesting, but my reason is because I want more from that output than, um, and I want it structured in my dynamic content. I don't want to have to go dig it out using formulas. So I parse it to get more dynamic tokens, right? Okay, so, but let's see what this does with body, all right? So I'm just going to save, and then we're going to test this. Wonderful things about buttons is I can test it on my computer just by saying I'll perform the trigger action, and I'll say test, and then I'll pick a category. I'm going to pick programming uh, just because I don't know what those other ones might return, and I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to do run flow, done, and now basically it's going to run that flow. Um, you can see that the action is really quick. And if I open this up, you'll see that in here, I get um, a few different things. I get category, which is programming. I get type, which is two part. And that's the API. The API has two types of jokes, uh, single and two part. Single is just one line, right? And it's over. Um, but two part has a setup and a delivery. 
right? So how do you set this joke up? How can you tell an extroverted programmer? Well, that's the setup. And then delivery is the answer, basically. What is the, I guess, the, the, the line that, that you want to make people laugh with? It's he looks at your shoes when he's talking, okay? So um, as opposed to looking at his own. Yeah, cute. So that's a joke, right? Um, but let's look and see what it looks like as an email message, all right? So I'm going to go over to my mail and click on that joke. And if you look over here, you'll notice it looks like a little blob of code, right? And although I do want a programming joke, I don't want to have to know how to do programming to read it, right? That'll, that won't make me smile. That'll depress me. So I need to parse this so that I can pull out only what I want, which in this case is the actual value for setup and the actual value for delivery, okay? So I'm going to go back to my run history and I'm going to hit edit. Uh, before I hit edit, is I want to first get that body. So I'm just going to select all right here, which will enable me to copy this body here. And um, I'm going to use this as an example of how I want this to be parsed, right? So I'm doing Control A and Control C. And now I'm going to edit this and add a new... Um, action called parse json now parse json sits inside of our data operations so uh, we have many operations and data operations and parse json is just one of them and then i'm going to put the body so i still need this body but i'm going to put it inside the content for parse json that tells it what to parse and then i'm going to give it a sample payload that's an awfully fancy word but it wants to generate a schema so that it knows how to format the data, how to parse it. So I'm going to click on this and paste that sample from the HTTP output. And this is exactly how I want to parse it, right? And what's interesting here is that it's looking at the real text to see, okay, is this a string or is it a number? So basically, after it parses this, we should see category as string, type as string, setup as string, delivery as string, but ID as integer, right? And if we had a dot after that 17 for some reason, it would be ID float, I believe. So I'm going to hit done. And now look, sure enough, it's created a schema. Now I can edit this if I want to, um, but it's best for those of you that are new to just leave it as is. What I will do sometimes with my um, parse JSON is I will actually edit my payload, which means that before I paste in here, I might remove anything I don't need. I might roll up things I don't need and so forth. And I'll give you a link to a great blog that John Liu did on this um, as well in the description. And so now I have this in a fashion that can be parsed. Now you'll notice a big difference. I don't just have body. Now I have the action parse JSON. If you can look at the difference on the right here, the HTTP only has these two things right here, but the parse JSON actually picked up each of those things and their data type, okay? So I really want this email message to say set up, right? And then dash delivery okay so now i'm going to save this and in real life i would probably make this a um a, sorry a, a push notification so i would have used notification push that way on my phone i could press the button tell it what category and then it would send me a push notification right away right on my phone screen with the joke All right, so we're gonna choose programming, run flow, done. And now we're gonna go back to our email and click on this. And there's our joke. What do you call a group of eight hobbits? Hobbite. Oh my, that's cute. All right, well, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys can understand better, those of you that knew, why would you want to parse JSON and how to parse JSON? Um, in a couple of my videos, I'm actually parsing JSON. So also 
take a look at some of my other videos and see how I do that. In some cases, I will also, one more thing I will do sometimes. Now this particular joke only returns uh, one joke, but if this was like uh, something that was, you know, kind of like getting thousands of items, I might top, I might test with a top three of those items because you don't need all of the, you only need at least one uh, array from here. You don't need to have like a thousand things. If you have one in here, you're good enough, right? So you could top this to one if this was returning a lot of things. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.